This is a video showing an alternate start procedure using the, for the Savannah Stoker powered pellet grill, especially those using high speed auger motors such as the Savannah Stoker 2.5 RPM motor or even a Pit Boss with their 2 RPM motors. Uh, this helps reduce overshoot and all the smoke on startup. Uh, of course, we have a clean pellet grill and there's some pellets in the firebox. We'll start. First thing we'll do is press the power on button. Then we'll press the set button to go to display 2. We press the auto manner button A slash M. Check that AM slash M light is on, so we're in manual mode. And we're running at 63% right now. We're going to reduce that to minimum, which is our OUTL out low. And then we're going to add about 5 to that for the startup. I'm going to go, I know what mine is, it works better at 4. Uh, after some starts, three or four starts, you figure out which one is best for you on the startup. Some people use five, some use three. Now we're going to let this run, and we'll change it later. So as soon as you get ignition, you close the hood. If you can detect smoke, you have ignition. In my case, because uh, I'm here, I'm starting with the hood closed. And we're waiting for their PV to rise. And again, what we're looking for is to help reduce the amount of overshoot on startup. Waiting for a uh, process value PV to rise. And we're there we go. It's starting to get around. We're gonna wait until it comes up to about Oh, above 140, 150, even 160, uh, you know, and as I said, as you do these starts, you figure out which works bit best for your pellet grill. Uh, I usually change it over you know, about 150. I will go back to auto mode. Well, between 140, 150, depends on how it's rising. See if we can get while it's climbing. We'll see what if we can get a capture of the smoke up here. You see, hardly any smoke at all on the startup. Instead of all this billowing smoke all over. So our next step is we go back to manual mode, or I mean from, we go from manual mode to auto mode. And I said about 140 or so is when I do it, and there's 140. Okay, I'm going to press the AM button, and that'll take us back to auto. Check that the AM light is out, and we'll go back to display 1, which shows us our SV. I'm at 140, going up at one. I set mine at 150. Uh, in operational parameters, there's a power on temperature, which is defaulted at 180. You can change that to whatever you want. I set mine at 150 because sometimes I don't have time to do the alternate start, and that helps reduce some of the overshoot. You see how nice and stable that is? I'm going to take it up to oh, maybe 180.